Hey guys, my name is Jessica, and today I'm going to show you how I draw a typical manga or anime eye using ArtRage Studio. So I find it really helpful um, to sketch it out first, just the basic outline. Then I go in with a darker black, unless you wanted to go with a dark brown or dark blue or something. Um, and I make the lines really bold and perfect. I like to make my pupils more oval as it makes the uh, eye look a lot bigger and that's usually what they go for in animes or manga as it makes the character look younger or more innocent. Now that you have the basic shape done, let's move on to the color. So you can't go wrong if you're doing a type of ombre with the darkest being at the top and the lightest being at the bottom because the dark near the uh, lash line actually makes it look like the eye has um, thicker and fuller lashes, thus making it look bigger and more feminine. Then you want to draw the pupil. Now, a lot of people will draw a solid pupil, um, then some like to do the crescent moon type pupil. Honestly, I usually start out with the moon and then I end up filling it in, but um, either one works. It just depends on your particular tastes. Now a really important thing to remember about anime or manga eyes is uh, the highlights. They are super critical to making any eye look even vaguely realistic. Now I decided that my lower lash line was a bit too low. Um, some artists like to draw them without touching the pupil or the iris. Um, sometimes I'll do that and sometimes I think it just looks better when it's actually touching the iris, um, but either one works, it all depends on your particular taste. I also like to add a highlight right under the pupil. I usually don't go bright white as it looks a bit too hard. Now what I also do is I like to put um, lines in between, then make it really messy and more realistic looking. So I decided that um, I was going to color in the pupil. I don't know. Sometimes I'll do it, sometimes I won't. I also made it a bit darker under the lash line. Another really important factor um, of the anime eye is the crease, and people will draw it just above the eye, and some will draw it touching the eye. Again, it all depends on what you prefer. Alright, I'm not sure if this is just me or if other people have this problem too, but I find it really hard to draw eyelashes and make them look good. So don't worry if they look kind of messed up in the beginning. I had to restart three or four times before I got some that I actually like. Another touch I like to add is I like to put um, a few small eyelashes near the bottom lash line. The first However, I don't like to put them actually on the bottom lash line because whenever I do that, they turn out looking like spider legs. So I thought this was a good compromise. And there you have it. Um, this is the way I like to draw my manga or anime eyes. Um, however, they always turn out slightly different, so I encourage you guys to go out and try some of your own. Please let me know what you think, and uh, what's your favorite anime or manga? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks.